Hi everyone, today we're going to 3D model a volleyball and Autodesk Inventor. We're going to start by sketching a 2D circle of 200 millimeter diameter, followed by a 195 millimeter diameter. Then we're going to create a horizontal line coincident to the outer circle. From that line, we're going to create two more lines. These are going to be construction lines. We're going to dimension these two lines to have an angle of 109.47 degrees. Then we're going to create a vertical line from the center to the outer circle. Going to the 3D model tab, we're going to use the revolve tool to revolve and create the 3D geometry. Revolve it around the center axis. And then we have what looks like a cap. We're then going to create a 2D sketch on the XZ plane. And we're going to use the two point center circle. We're going to make all the sides equal in length. And make it coincident to the outer circle. Then we're going to do one big circle mimicking the outer circle. Now we're going to extrude and cut the profile to get the geometry we would like. Again on the XZ plane, we're going to outline the cap. We're going to do the two vertical lines and use the three-point arc to create the tangent. Going to the three-point arc, we're going to make it tangent to the outer circle. We're going to divide this outline into three sections. Just going to measure the width of the cap and divide it by three. Doing it on the same line. Now we're going to save the part into our folder. And then we're going to create two more copies of the same part. We'll name them part part two and part three. Now we have those three parts saved. We're going to start creating the individual parts. We're going to extrude and cut out the two surfaces and create a fillet of one millimeter. We'll change the color to white.
that's part one. And now we're going to open up the other two parts. For the second part, we're going to extrude the two outer portions of the outline. Again, we're going to cut and remove the material. Again, we're going to do a one millimeter fillet radius. We're going to change this part to be black. And then for part three, we're going to do the same and extrude the two other port portions. We're going to use cut. We're going to change the color to white. And then fill it one millimeter right radius again. Now we have the three parts saved and we're going to create our sub assembly. Inserting part one, we're going to make the planes. First, we're going to turn on the visual style with edges and then we're going to make all the planes flush together. So opening up the origin of both the part and the assembly, we're going to use a flush constraint. We're going to flush the YZ plane with the YZ plane, XZ plane with the XZ plane, and the XY plane with the XY plane. We're going to do the same procedure for part two and part three. Opening up part two origin and make the planes flush. Same thing for part three. Now we're going to save the sub assembly. And now we're going to create a main assembly of six sub assemblies. We're going to change the visual style to shaded with edges and constrain the planes to be flush again. Now we're going to place another sub assembly. And we're going to make the side face to the bottom of the original face. There we go. Now we're going to open up the origin of the part and constrain the planes. Not to make it in line. Now 
Again, we're going to place the same subassembly. We're going to mate the side face with the other side face. And the side face of the top part with the bottom face of the other part. And then we're going to constrain the planes. Now we're going to add the other part and constrain it in the same way. And then the plane. Now two more left. We're going to place the subassembly again. Constrain the side face with the side face. And then the side face of the top part with the bottom part. And then the planes. And now the last part. And make the faces. And then the plane. And there we have it, a volleyball 3D modeled on Autodesk Inventor. Let me know what I should build next in the comments. Thank you for watching.